Hey, the first one's already factored. Can I use the factoring technique then? Why not? Well, it's already factored, but can I just go from there and say part of my work's already done and just solve it because it's already factored? Not quite. What's wrong? What's wrong with this one that you can't use the factoring technique yet? It's not in the right form. It needs to be equal to 0 in order to use the factored one. So we have to first expand this, foil the first ones. We get 2x squared minus 2x plus x minus 1 equals 5x. Combine like terms and bring everything over to one side. So I'll subtract 5x on both sides. Next question you'd ask yourself, how fast can you look at that and tell it can't be factored? Immediately? Good. <laughs> You're kidding. If you tried to factor this, okay, if you tried to factor this, 2x and x would be the only way to get 2x squared. 1 and 1 is the only way to get 1. Does the outside and inside ever make 6? No. The outside would be 2, the inside would be 1, that makes 3. Or 1 never equals 6. Your A value is 2, your B value is negative 6, and your C value is 1. At this point, when you can't factor it, you've got to choose completing the square or the formula. A lot of people start to like the formula, because all you have to do is plug the numbers in. There's still some simplifying to do, but the formula says x is going to equal negative b, and b is negative 6, plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Yeah. My recommendation is if you can't factor it and you have the choice, use the formula. <coughs> Sometimes there'll be a question, though, that will say solve by completing the square. Then you know for sure I've got to use that technique. But majority of the time, we've created this formula. We needed to learn completing the square in order to make the formula. Because if we didn't learn the technique, then you can't make the formula. That's what mathematicians do for all their formulas. They look for patterns. Once they see a pattern, they generalize it, and then you can come up with a formula. Do mathematicians, get paid get paid? mathematicians get paid, yeah. They get paid well. How much, How much, mathematician? <laughs> How much does a mathematician make on average? I don't know. Depends. Um, last year I had, I had someone from uh, the, s the school that looks at actuarial science, which is a branch of mathematics. Actuarial science is the mathematics of predicting the future, so insurance companies use them to figure out how much should you pay in insurance so that the insurance company doesn't go broke if your house gets broken into or if you die. So what is the likelihood of you dying based on people that are similar to you, right? Race car drivers have higher expenses for life insurance than do bus drivers for obvious reasons. But if you are, you know, they say, well, what do you do in your spare time? I like to drive a snowmobile. Well, your insurance goes up because of that, because you have a higher risk. So they look at all of that and and do the mathematics and then they work for insurance companies and they start off there that starting job for an actuary is usually around 60,000 70,000 in your first year for for your salary and then they say that an average actuary 
after five years of working is making over two hundred thousand dollars and hmm? no and then most most CEOs of companies were the actuaries for their company before so when you look at high business stuff who is you know those CEOs that are making getting a ten million dollar bonus at the end of the year they say that the highest percentage of those workers are actuaries and in last in the last five years in the list of best jobs to have actuaries has been listed as number one number two but it involves a super high level of mathematics and super amounts of studying mathematics for example the one girl who said they studying for her one exam to get to the next level they said on average you need to study for that exam for about 300 hours and so you would plan your six months of studying by the hour when you could have your own coffee breaks because you had to be focused for like six months of so it's pretty intense Why do people just like to do that? make lots of money all right can make lots of money well, I should have paused this video <laughs> can make lots of money so maybe I'll get the actuary person in again maybe when you're in grade 12 that person will come in and talk to you okay but my X's are not working oh maybe I'm using here we go so let's just simplify this we're gonna get six plus or minus 36 plus 8 over 4 6 plus or minus that'll be 44 over 4 you have to ask yourself can you simplify the square root of 44 you can it's going to be 2 root 11 can I factor anything out of the top a 2 I'll leave me a 3 plus or minus the square root of 11 over 4. Can I simplify the fraction in front? How did what change? This 3 here? I took a 2 out. There's a common factor. Right? I'm dividing by 2. That's the same as factoring, right? I pull a 2 out of the first one. I'll be left with 3 because 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times root 11 will be 2 root 11. And now 2 over 4 does simplify. And I get 3 plus or minus root 11 all over 2. You have no room left for question B? Do you want to skip question B? I can go down a bit. Don't skip it. You want to just observe me doing it instead of writing it down? Okay. And if you want to write it down, you can. If not, you can watch it later after my long speech in the middle of this one. Most people don't like dealing with fractions even in formulas. You could plug the fractions into the formula. It would be fine. Most people don't like fractions in the formula. I'm going to get rid of the fractions by multiplying everything by, by 4. If I multiply everything by 4, the 4 and the 2 will simplify to just become 2. The 4 and the 4 will cancel out to just become minus 5x. And I'll get equals 12. In order to use the formula, the same as in order to use factoring, we have to make one side equal to 0. Let's just check if we can factor this one. If we could factor it, it would be 2x and x. 
Numbers that multiply to give you 12. 6 and 2, 3 and 4, okay? So if we tried, if we tried 6 and 2, can you see my outside is 4, inside is 6? That doesn't make 5. If we tried 2 and 6, and my outside is 12, my inside is 2, that doesn't make 5. If we tried... 4 and 3, my outside is 8, my inside is 3. Does that make 5? Yes. yes, it does. So we'll put 4 and 3 in here. We want minus 4 plus 3. x is equal to 4. x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Done. Don't even need to use the formula because we could factor it. Let's say factoring these ones is not your cup of tea. You're like, yeah, I don't like factoring. You should like factoring, but maybe you're not there yet. Maybe that's the weekend plan. Try to like factoring on Saturday, and if it doesn't work, try to like factoring on Sunday, and if that doesn't work, keep working at it and see if you like factoring on Monday. So that by Tuesday, when you come back to classes, everybody's like, well, do this weekend. Oh, I learned to like factoring. You'll be too busy, too busy factoring how much turkey you should eat. Okay. So, if I went from this to the formula, it would be x equals negative b. That'll just be 5, because a negative negative 5 is going to be positive 5. Plus or minus? b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And you're going to see what happens in the quadratic formula when things are factorable. Because this one is factorable. You're going to get 5 plus or minus. Inside here, we're going to get 25 plus 96. Is that right? Is that right? Or did I make a mistake? over 4. And 25 plus 96 is 121. What's special about 121? It's a perfect square. What times what is 121? 11. But x equals 5 plus or minus 11 over 4. Well, now you have two choices. You could add the 11, and then you would get 16 over 4, which is equal to 4. If you subtracted the 11, you would get negative 6 over 4, which is equal to negative 3 over 2. That's the same answer as we got here. And any time you're using the quadratic formula and that number is a perfect square, it was like, oh, I could have factored. I could have made this easier if I'd factored. All right, so that is only.